Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. And while this is technically Design Team Thursday, what I'm going to show you today has nothing to do with my Design Team stuff, but it is by request of some of my viewers, and that is to get a better understanding of how to use the envelope punch board. There are only two things to remember, that you have a point right here, and you have a score path. It's the only two things you really need to know. Now, if you want to make basic square envelopes, then you have the designs here where if you are doing a, uh, say if you're going to do a four by six card, then you would need a piece of paper eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And you're going to score on the three and three eighths mark. I'm going to work with six by six paper today because it's small. So I'm going to go in reverse and I'm going to look at my paper size. A six by six piece of cardstock or paper will fit a three by four card. So using a six by six piece of paper, because I have an abundance of that, and I'm going to go to that six by six mark for a three by three. I'm trying to look in the camera here. Three by four card, a six by six piece of cardstock. I need to score at the two and five eighths. That's the only number you need to remember. I lost my pointer here in the mess on the desk. Where did my pointer go? <laughs> oh, I put it back. <laughs> so you'll look over here. There's two and one eighth, one and a two and a quarter, two and three eighths, two and a half, two and five eighths. So I will line my paper up at that two and five eighths mark. Line up the left edge of my paper with that number that they gave me, which is the two and five eighths. And I'm gonna punch. And then I'm gonna score. And you'll you'll feel you can see the track here. But you'll feel where your where your score tool needs to go, and it comes with your score bit, with your scoreboard, and you're just going to score, follow that line down. That's the only number you need to remember. From this point on, you're going to turn your paper a quarter turn, and that score line that we just made, you're going to line that little tip up with your score line. And that's the only other time, that's the only number you need to remember. After that, it's all about the tip and the score line. With a caveat, that is the only time you need to remember the number when you're using the traditional measurements on the scoreboard. And I'm going to talk about the caveat to that in a minute. So we're going to line that tip up with that scoreboard, or with that score line, punch, and score. Quarter turn, line that up, that tip with your score line, punch, score. And then one more time, score line up with that little tip. Just kind of let that little, let that little tip set right in your score line. Punch, score. And that's all there is to doing your envelope. Then you're going to take this aside, decide what side you want on the inside, outside. Use your score tool. And see where you punch that, you get those little notches. And that's what these are for. Now, if you want to save these, I've seen people take and use these and make some really cute flowers. I'm not sure I'm going to go that far. And then you're just going to score, or fold on the score line. Use your scoring tool to really crease those. Now one thing, and you'll see I did here, I think this is the first one I showed you. When you score, don't push really hard with your score tool. Because <laughs> otherwise, you're going to tear that. So I'm going to put that down at the bottom. Now if I want to round those tips, I have this out here on the back side of my punch board. Where I can set that in. And that will round my corners. Those two I'm definitely not keeping. <laughs> okay, now let's see, where's my tear? Because I want to put that tear 
down here so I can seal it. I think my glue bottle's about empty. And that's how easy it is to do the envelope punch board. The only thing to remember is once you have that first number, and ours was two and five eighths, you line the left edge of your paper up with that two and five eighths. Lost my number right there. And punch, score, turn. After that, you're going to line that first score line up with this tip. And do that for your other three rotations. And that's all there is. Now, somebody else asked the question, but what if I don't want to do a regular sized envelope? What if I want to do a long one? Now, a lot of people are starting to get into doing the slim cards, which requires a business sized envelope. But what if you don't want to, what if you need an, you don't want to use a plain old white business card envelope. You want to make yours from your pretty 12 by 12 designer paper. There are two options, and I'm going to link both of the videos down below. Um, I learned about this app, and this is only for iOS. Um, it's an app you can put on your phone. It's a 3.8 3 megabyte, I believe, so you're going to need to make sure you've got your storage. But it will work with um, the iPhone, iPad, and I, it says iOS... Uh, 9.2 megabyte, but it says, um, I had it up here this morning. Now, the ratings on this are not really good, and that is because people did not read that it was only an iOS app. It will not work on your um, Androids. It's only iOS. And so they were complaining that it wasn't bitching and that you had it wasn't working and that you had to use it only in portrait mode. And that's the other thing. They don't tell you it will not work in landscape mode. You have to use it only in portrait mode on your phone. <coughs> but otherwise, and I can't bring it up on here because it's on my phone. So I'm going to move this up and see if I can get it up here. There we go. You'll see you put in the width of your card, the length of your card, and it will tell you what size paper that you need to use and your scoring, um, your scoring, your punch and scoring options. Now, the other one is, and this one is not an app. It is, let's see if I can bring it up with that. Did I lose it? I hope not. I hope I didn't lose it. There we go. This is on the website, and I will link the link the website down below as well. I'm just loving it.co.uk, and her husband, who writes software, created this fun little punchboard calculator. You can put in your whether you're working in inches or fractions. You can put in your card dimension, and this one I can use. Say I have a card that is three by seven. Whoops, not an I. Give me my numbers back. It will tell me that my paper size needs to be eight and a quarter inches square and that I'm going to score on the two and three quarter inches line. So let's do that one really quick. I think I've got, I think I have paper over here I can grab. Eight and a half. I only need eight and a quarter. I wasn't going to do this one, so bear with me. And that's cardstock. I don't want cardstock. But, we, you know, it is what it is. If I can find one that's open. <laughs> All this paper behind me. Do you think I have one ready? Oh, no. Okay. Let's use this one here. And so our paper needs to be eight and a half by, or eight and a quarter square. And this will go really fast. So I'll go over here to eight and a quarter and cut. Eight and a quarter and cut. And then it says we're going to score 
on the two and three quarter. So there is, I keep losing my pointy tool, there it is. Two and three quarters, so there's two. One, two, there's the three quarter mark. So we're gonna line our left out give our paper up with that two and three quarter punch. Score and try not to go all the way down this time. Try not to punch too hard. Score. Now you're going to come to the end of your paper. That's okay. You can fix that. And then the rest of them, we're just going to turn it. Punch. Score. Turn. Line it up with the little tip. Punch. Score. Line it up with the little tip. Now if you're working with a much larger piece of paper, that's okay. And let's see, let's punch our corners off here. Because if you've gone most of the way down, if you've gone most of the way down, you're going to be able to catch that fold. See, it didn't go quite all the way down, but you've got enough of it there to catch. Now, if you want to see how to work on a much longer piece of paper, say you're working from a 12 by 12, I'm going to link Lindsay the Frugal Crafter down below. She shows you how to deal with when you're going off of your scoreboard. And that is, now see that leaves us just a little bit. But what I want to do is I'll take, and I'll take that and I'll fold my top down. And that shows me where I want to trim that off. Just like that. And then this one again is also going to be longer. So you can use this as your, and just kind of go down here and know that you need to go. And you can use your paper trimmer for this if you need something a little bit straighter. But then there's how that crafty envelope punch board calculator will work. Or an odd sized envelope and I will leave those links down below so you can go in and play if you have questions please leave them in the comments below tomorrow is finish it Friday and I have a big project that I am finishing up today it is not the continuation of the 12 days of uh, digits from from last December I have a project I need to get off of my work table and that's what I'm going to work on today and we'll be showing you tomorrow in the meantime, thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember to like, click, and subscribe, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Creative Blessings.